hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to do talk to you about product advertising api's uh, from amazon so if you are into amazon affiliate marketing you will be knowing about the product advertising api using the product advertising api you can import multiple products to your website so it is very easy and i'm going to explain the complete procedure to you as you can see on the screen you need to log into your amazon affiliate account go to tools and in the tools you will find product advertising api click on the product advertising apis and now check at the bottom you will find multiple links in those links you will find a link that says scratch pad you need to click on the scratch pad so scratch pad is basically a tool that will import multiple products in multiple formats like XML, HTML, JSON, Java. So as per your website uh, coding, uh, usually I use HTML. So I'm going to explain about how to import, use the HTML and import the multiple products. So when you click on the scratch pad, the same link or the same page opens as you can see on the screen. Okay, that says getting started. So on this page, on the left hand side, you will find many buttons or many links that says uh, item lookup, node lookup. So what we're going to do is today we're going to do an item research or item search on the left hand side. If you will see on the top, you need to click on the item search. If you click on the once you click on the item search on the right hand side, there will be an option. So you need to select your marketplace. So from the marketplace you come, like I come from India. So I have this link, which I need to select from the drop down that says dot in at the end. Then your associate tag, your access key ID and your secret key. Once you fill in the correct information, okay, you will be able to import the results. So on the second tab, you need to enter your associate tag access id and secret key once this perfect information is added down there you are seeing the item research on the related parameters in the related parameters you need to enter like a sorting options basically you have many options to choose from but we will go with the very basic one what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the plus button that says add a new parameter i'm going to add a sort parameter i'll click on the plus button once i click on the plus button a new parameter will be added so using that parameter i can search any product let's say i'm going to search for drones uh, all the drones amazon has to offer so i'm going to put drones after clicking a plus sign there will be a keywords i need to put i'm putting drone and the sort option and rest are same we are not changing them so let's say i selected drone in the keywords and the sort parameter and now what i'm going to do is on the right hand side if you will see there is an option that an option that says run request once you will run the request if your all parameters are added correctly you will see a response just like you can see on the screen so uh, not more but the best or the top 10 products into the drones will be exported using the api what you can do is there are many options in the response there is an xml response and there is an html response click on the html response okay and you will see a complete code in the html format this html format you can use in your godaddy sites or in your uh, wix sites or in your uh, google block spot all you have to do is you just have to add an html or in google in block spot you have to use an html editor and paste this code into that html editor for your reference i'm going to save this html response as into a notepad format and with dot html format and what i will do is once i'll save into the html format i will open the dot html format into the chrome and we will see how the result is appearing as in final output so the final output will be having same look as you saw in the response what we get into the uh, when we run the code 
right the same code including your links and everything so it basically renders the response using your amazon api secret key and your code and your associate tag id so now i have saved the file as in html and i'm going to execute the html file and when i open the html file it looks something like this the same thing will appear in your website when you will enter this html response what you have got using the amazon api in case a user comes and clicks on the buttons that have you that you have added that says shop now or something it's as you know uh, the amazon affiliate and the commissions you get to earn the commission this shop now button will have your associate tag into it thanks for watching <music>